rhythm signal are not traditional. What the? Say with me, cappuccino mocha latte drink. Wow. Hello everyone, today's video I would like to share with you on Jimbe rhythm signal. Now, at different Jimbe community, there's different way to call it. Some people call it Jimbe call. Some people call it Jimbe break. Some people call it Jimbe signal. In this video, I will use the term rhythm signal for us to refer to the rhythm that we're going to play to start uh, a percussion on ZOM or a rhythm groove, all right? So, when we say rhythm signal, the common rhythm signal that we hear every time. Now, some of you will also hear this version. Okay, but that's not the only type of rhythm signal in uh, traditional Jimbe rhythms. Generally, we have three types of rhythm signal. Binary rhythm signal, ternary one rhythm signal, ternary two rhythm signal. So these are the three main types of rhythm signal that I'm going to be showing you and teaching you as well. And also to demonstrate to you how to apply this rhythm signal. You ready? So the first type of signal, binary rhythm signal. Why do we say binary? Because when we count, in every pulse, there's a subdivision of 2 or 4. 1, 2, 1, 2, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Now, binary rhythm signal commonly will be this. Or... Okay, now these two rhythm signals are very similar. In fact, the background story is that um, the grandmaster, Jimbe grandmaster, Famodou Konate, okay, commonly used this signal. And in the style of grandmaster Mamadi Keita, he will use this signal. Now at this point, I also want to share with you that rhythm signals are not traditional. Okay, because traditionally in the village, they don't require rhythm signal. In the village music, the whole idea is the singer will start singing and then the rest of the musician uh, that has a music part on the instrument or drum instrument that plays along with the singer will just join in naturally, okay? And rhythm signal uh, only came about much later when uh, there are performing troops that are created because you need rhythm signal to signal to the dancer to change their steps or to when there's a performance arrangement, you need a rhythm signal to uh, kind of navigate the whole percussion on zone to a different part of the music. Okay? So, bear in mind, rhythm signal are not traditional, but it has uh, became commonly used for uh, jimbe classes, uh, jimbe dance classes, and also jimbe performances. Binary signal, okay, I will use this rhythm Now, there are no specific handling, all right? Uh, you can choose uh, whichever handling that is, uh, that is comfortable for you, but definitely we don't want to play like this. Okay? Now, for me, I prefer uh, alternating my hands all throughout the rhythm. So like this. One, two, three, four. That's one option. Another common option that you can use. There's a small part that I double my hand there. Another third option that you can use. Okay, all these three options are possible to use and they are practical. Now for binary signal, essentially it's a four count rhythm to uh, signal to the rest of the musician to start. So, it doesn't have to be through to 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 takata, okay? You can explore and be creative with your own rhythm signal. But the criteria is it has to be four count and the rhythm signal has to stop on the fourth count so that the rest of uh, the players in your class or in your ensemble have this little one count time space to react and play. For example, this following uh, demonstration can also be binary rhythm signal. One, two, three, four. Or 
1 2 3 4 or 1 2 3 4 Okay now I'm going to show you how to apply our binary rhythm signal we're going to use our common rhythm signal tru tu 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 taka ta are you ready So what you heard just now uh, is a sangban rhythm from the song Kuku. So Kuku is a common rhythm we, we play in Jimmy classes and Jimmy communities. Uh, this is a signal to apply for Kuku. Now, in this case, the sangban is playing a two-count rhythm cycle. Ping, cha, ping, ping, cha, ping, ping, cha. Now, our rhythm signal is a four-count cycle. So from the moment the sangban rhythm starts, okay, we have to be aware that it's going on a four count cycle, all right? And then we apply our signal on one, on count number one, okay? I'll demonstrate for you again. So, do take note, we should never place our rhythm signal on count number 3, alright? Or else it will screw up the whole rhythm phrase. Next demonstration is a 4 count rhythm cycle on a sangban, okay? And the rhythm name is called Sofa. I'll show that again and I'll count for you where count number one to four are. Ready? Next is a 8 count uh, rhythm cycle on the sangban that I want to show you. So previously when it's 4 count, it's pretty straightforward because our rhythm signal is also a 4 count phrase as well. But now we're going to play along to the song called Dala. Dala. This is a pattern for Dala. So earlier on, I've showed you a binary rhythm signal applying to different types of um, traditional rhythms. The key things that we need to note are the rhythm cycle of each uh, traditional rhythm. And therefore, we'll be able to apply the rhythm signal accordingly. But there are some traditional rhythms that has their own unique rhythm signal, which means they don't use tu 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 takata. One example is one of my favorite rhythm, Kuku di Mauka. All right, I'll show you. One, two, three, four, one, two.
Another rhythm that has its own unique signal is a popular dance class rhythm called Sinte. Alright, I'll show you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next type of signal I'm going to show you, we call it ternary one signal. Now, basically, ternary rhythms are rhythm that in every pulse we have a subdivision of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. In our Western musical notation, we usually call that six, eight timing or 12, eight timing. But in uh, traditional Jimmy rhythms, we have two types of ternary rhythms. We call them ternary one and ternary two. Now I'm going to show you ternary one rhythm signal. Now we call it ternary one rhythm because the emphasis is on the first and third subdivision in every pulse. If you say one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, 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 Usually we call that a swing rhythm. So the rhythm signal is literally a swing rhythm. One, two, three, four. I'll show you again. One, two, three, four. Now in terms of handling, you can do it alternate hands. Or you can also do this. Now the starting flam, in this technique, in percussion term, we call it flam. You can do it left, right, or right, left. It doesn't matter if you're left-handed or right-handed drum. All right? Next, I'm going to show you how do we apply this uh, rhythm signal. So, what you just heard is a rhythm called Konden. Konden is a mass rhythm from the northeast region of uh, Guinea. In fact, there are many different versions of Konden. What you just heard just now is a Konden version from the region of Wasalon, where Mama Diketa comes from. Now, the pattern is a four count phrase. One, two, three, four. Our signal is also a four count phrase, so it fits perfectly nice. So, just make sure when we apply the signal, it's on count number one of the phrase. I will show you again. Next is also a four count sangband uh, rhythm uh, of the song Garang Gedon. The next uh, rhythm I want to show you on how we apply our ternary one signal is the song Manjani. And this is a tricky one. I'll show you first.
So uh, it's a little bit tricky in trying to feel the four count pulse in that Sangban pattern. Okay, I'm going to show you again because important, most important, you must know the Sangban phrase well, then you can apply your signal. Okay. For tenor one rhythm, there is also a rhythm that has its own unique signal. That rhythm is called sosonet. I will show you first. Now for this signal, I will sing it slowly for you. Tuku tu tuku tu tuku ta ta. One, two, three, four. Tuku tu tuku ku tuku ta ta. Okay. Now this also fulfill uh, one of the requirement. In fact, the basic requirement of rhythm signal is that rhythm, the rhythm signal rhythm <laughs> has to end on count number four. All right. I will show that again, but at a speed that usually uh, it is supposed to be played at. Ready? Earlier on, you have seen the different types of ternary one rhythm signal and the different song that you can use to apply. Now I'm going to explore into ternary two rhythm signal. Ternary two rhythm basically uh, focus on the first two subdivision in every pulse. So in ternary rhythm, we have three subdivision in every pulse. One, two, three, one, two, three. But we focus on the first two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. A typical ternary two rhythm signal goes like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> you got that? I'll show you again. One, two, three, four. Pele, pete, 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 pe. Now, from my teaching experience, a lot of people always have problem with this uh, rhythm signal. But I have a little cheat sheet here you can use. Say with me, cappuccino mocha latte drink. Wow. Okay, each word is one pulse. Cappuccino mocha latte drink. And be natural about it. When we say mocha or latte, we don't say mocha latte. Because if we, we don't want to end up uh, playing pete 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 pe, because that will be a binary rhythm feel. All right? Naturally, when we say mocha or latte, we say mocha, latte, tata, tata. That's the ternary two feeling. Pete, 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 pe. Cappuccino, mocha, latte, drink. Pete, 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 pe. Cappuccino, mocha, latte, drink. Now, on the drum, you can start with left, you can start with right. It doesn't matter if you're left handed or right handed, but you have to do it. Uh, in an alternate hand setting, okay? One, two, three, four. 
This handling is strongly recommended. All right, do not play like this. Okay, because uh, this, the second option will kind of uh, screw your filling up <laughs> or kind of mess you up when you want to apply in your performance or in your class. Okay, I do it slowly again. One, two, three, four. Faster. One, two, three, four. Even faster. One, two, three, four. One more time. Three, go. One last time. Three, go. Now I'm going to explore how to apply tenary rhythm to signal on different types of uh, traditional rhythm. First, we go with a two count rhythm cycle on the sangban. Rhythm name, Tiriba. Ready? Now, our tenary two rhythm signal is also a four count phrase. Pete, 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 pe. In this case, the sangban pattern is a two count phrase. Bing, pa, bing. But still, we need to be aware and uh, see in a four count phrase so we can uh, apply our rhythm signal correctly. Okay, I'll show you. Next, I will be showing you how to apply a uh, tenary two rhythm signal on a four count sangban uh, rhythm cycle. Rhythm name, Ja. And finally, we want to explore applying tenary two rhythm signal on an eight count rhythm cycle on the sangban. Okay, a very common eight count rhythm cycle on the sangban would be the rhythm soko. All right, let's listen to the sangban pattern first. Now the thing with applying rhythm signal on an eight count cycle, uh, now again in the village, remember I mentioned earlier in the video, there is no concept of rhythm signal. They start naturally, they stop naturally. But when we have signal, it's because we want to apply signal for dance class or for a performance arrangement. Now especially for dance class, dance class students and teacher always count in eight counts. So it is important that we apply our rhythm signal at a count or at a time or in a moment where the dance feels complete. All right, so it has to be on the count number five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Signal has to come on count number five. In this case, I will count for you uh, with the soko pattern on the sangban. Now, in tenary two rhythm, there are also rhythms with its own unique signal. One such rhythm is Jabra. I will show you. One, two, three, four.
So the rhythm Jabra uh, is a four count cycle on the Sangban. Our rhythm signal, well, is a three count rhythm signal, but if you combine with the break, it's a full eight count. I'll sing for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pada pada po po pam 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 pam. We start rhythm. To put it simply, to apply our rhythm signal for Jabra, uh, it has to be on count number one of the Sangban cycle. Okay? And it starts with a row four. Okay? And two tones. Likewise, doesn't matter if you start with left hand or right hand. Or. Okay? And then the, the whole ensemble will respond to the break. Then we go into rhythm. I will show you now on the application. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now you have seen binary rhythm signal, ternary 1 rhythm signal, and ternary 2 rhythm signal. Before we end the video, I want to show another two types of rhythm uh, with, with its own unique rhythm signal. One such rhythm is the rhythm Krojuga. Now Krojuga is a 6 count cycle, not 4 count or 8 count, but 6 count. I will show you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. Another type of uh, rhythm that has its own unique rhythm signal is the style of rhythm we call Dunumba rhythms. Here is one example. One, two, three, four. Wow, okay, so there was a lot of information, okay? Did you find this video valuable? Uh, was it helpful for you? Is there anything else that you want to uh, learn about uh, logic of Jimbe music or any technique that you hope to see us demonstrating for you? Let us know in the comment segment, okay? And we'll try to fulfill your request, okay? Now, is this video too difficult, too easy? Were the rhythms too confusing or was it straightforward? Was it clear for you, all right? Tell us or simply show us some love in the comment segment. Remember to like and subscribe. See you at our next video.